Hello everybody, welcome to Boxing Science. In this video, we're going to be taking British heavyweight champion Fabio Wardley through a strength and hypertrophy workout for boxing. In this workout, Fabio is predominantly working towards maximum strength and muscular hypertrophy. This requires sets of three to five repetitions and also some drop sets to make sure that we're getting that volume load, time under tension to create muscular hypertrophy adaptations. We start off by taking some data because we are looking to put on muscle mass over the last three to four months. With this increase in muscle mass, we're wanting to make sure that his speed and power is staying relevant to the weight that he's putting on. So we're just keeping an eye on that to make sure he maintains and keeps improving that devastating enhanced speed that's knocked out his last 15 opponents. We're also taking some numbers around the trap bar jump. This is important to gain measure to see what he needs to work on in the next phase as we look to transfer the maximum strength and the muscle gain into faster, more explosive actions. So we'll do the load velocity profile to make sure that we're optimizing the load that we're lifting to target speed strength adaptations. Then moving on to his main workout where we're doing trap bar deadlift from the blocks. We're working towards two times or so 2.1 times his body weight. We're looking for three repetitions around about four sets. We've got the VBT device on there, the gym aware device, where we're getting feedback to make sure that not only is it lifting heavy, but it is approaching it with maximum speed and intent. We then move on to his upper body pressing where we're doing the banded floor press. This is a very effective exercise to improve upper body strength and speed. However, it's also shoulder friendly. We're not getting past that neutral position where we get the internal rotation and humeral head, creating a lot of pressure onto the shoulders. Going from a floor press position, we'll make sure that Fabio is getting into a strong position first, and then the bands increase the tricep activation throughout the lift, which will increase the acceleration from the upper body, but also the tension at the end range of the motion, where we're getting the snap at the end range of the punch. We actually paired this with a banded press up, and this is for muscle hypertrophy, making sure that we're getting that volume in there, and then that time under tension. We then finish off with some accessory exercises, such as dumbbell lunges, we've got loaded carries to work on grip strength and core strength. We then finish off with some bicep curls which you don't see very often on the Boxing Science channel. The reason why we need to do bicep curls and train the biceps in particular because heavy weights generally need bigger arms and stronger arms because they're delivering faster and harder punches to lighter weights. So they need to be able to decelerate to protect from overextending and also need strong arms to come into contact with a heavier opposition. We're doing this in a functional way though. Normally we do either BFR, blood flow restriction training, or isometrics. Here we're really focusing on the eccentric part of the bicep curl and this is really important to decelerate the upper limb when delivering punches. Why decelerate? It's because sometimes we miss shots. So we need to make sure that we're decelerating effectively. We're not getting the snapping motion, overextending, where we can see a lot of elbow injuries. So that's the workout. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the combo box below. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future content. Hopefully you enjoyed the workout and enjoyed this video. So ice skates for distance, we'll dip down, drive it across, drive it across, good. Oh, he's a big man. Long man punch with the heavy band. So we're just looking for that partial range. So we're not going all the way through to full extension. We're literally just wanting to overload that first movement because we know from the data, the most important part of the long man punch throw. Why are you smiling? We dip down. Don't pop up into it like that. Twist and turn, but let's keep that back foot into the floor. Yeah, good. So you're not getting it as far, but it's better action. Heavyweights take three to four times longer to do anything than the normal man. Load up the arms, drive them hips through, let's go. Yeah, there we go. 47-7, yeah. Oh, God! 47. Gassed out now. Hmm? Gassed out, only good for one round. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mate. Yeah, lovely. 
47.7, nice. Yes, well done. This is where you was last time. So you was 111 kilos, jumping 49.3 centimeters. Say it 47.7, but today 112.5 kilos. So put on that muscle mass. We've maintained your power to weight ratio because you're hitting more or less the same momentum values, which is really important. So when you put on mass, you want to put it on steadily. So then you maintain your amount of force that you can produce compared to what your weight is. So when you compare it to when you first start the program, we were light 319, 310 on your momentum values. Now you're on 345. What's really positive about this is that you're matching what you was one week before you fight. That's when we we're doing all the speed, strength and explosiveness. Mm. You know, we're still in maximum strength phase. So as we transfer into more specific actions, you're going to see increases in that as well. Twenty-one point six. Good. Twenty-one. Chest up. Get your chest up. Nineteen point six. Seeing a big shift in the how much force and how much speed you can create at high loads. Strong. Four nine. Four nine. Yeah, lovely. Five two. We got there. Explode. Yes, love it. Five seven. Four, three, one more. Five, three. Yes, yeah, strong man. Five, six. Oh! Four, four, one more. Yeah, good. Four, five. There, hold. And then go. Good. Yeah, good. Good hinge at the hips, good straight back. Love it. There, and then up. Good. One more, drive through that sticky point. Pull it down, drive it up. Up! Oh. Yeah, love it, yeah. Nice and slowly down, yeah, good. On these banded press-ups, you can do 10, relatively easy. So have a little pause at the bottom, and then come up, yeah, 10 reps. There, one, two, and up. Slowly down, pause, one, two, and up, good. And up. Good. Pull it down, pause, and then go. And go. Keep it a bit narrow. There, and go. Good. You went there, took the deep breath out, had to be tense up again. You want in it to come down, pause, and then go straight away, but maintain that tension all the way through. So you've got to quickly access that stability. That's it. Good strong arms. Pulls back and down. Good. When people do lunges, they tend to like let that drift forward and lose that bit of posture there. Try and keep the shoulders back and down. Tight grip. I try to keep that in neutral every time. Good. Quick. Good. Drop down a little bit deeper. Good. Shoulders back. Chest up. Good. Five, four, three, two, one, good. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Hinge at the hips, get that momentum from your hips to bring the bar up and then come down. Four, three, two, one. Hinge again, bring it up. Nice and slow way down. 
keep our elbows tucked in, swing it up, down, four, three, two, one. So the elbows go back more, your shoulders get involved, less biceps. So you want elbows tucked in, shoulder in that neutral position as you're coming down. Okay guys, so that's the end of the workout and this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future content. And if you're interested in some of the boxing science programs, you can go and check out the Boxing Science website, boxingscience.co.uk, where you can get 50% off your first purchase. So this is on a range of ebooks from strength and conditioning programs, nutrition programs, and also high intensity conditioning. Use the code BOXINGSCIENCE50 to receive 50% off your first purchase. Or you can go and check out the Train Like Champion membership, where you can follow the blueprint to elite performance for just £19.99 a month. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully see you in the next video.